one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And buddy, I've got a sweet 73 Mercedes 220 diesel today. And I brought it down here to the Greyhound Bus Depot to where I could show it in all its glory in front of this old building. And it's beautiful. I'm gonna do a quick walk around. I already did a once around walk around thing and showed you any damage that I seen on it from the outside. I also did a test drive and showed you how she drove and all that. And now, I'm just going to do a quick walk around, show you what there is to show outside in case you missed them, and then we're going to get right to the interior, and I'm going to show you everything on the inside of this car. As you can see, I've got an extra floor mat there that's used in it where nobody tracks any mud or anything in it. Um, now this car is in great shape. It's actually never really used in the winter or anything. I had to beg him to get it out to let me do this video, um, but it's, as you can see, it's a beautiful day, beautiful town. We're in Pocatello, Idaho. The Hotel Yellowstone over there and the Greyhound Bus Depot here and that's the deal so that's your quick walk around the outside I'm gonna pop the hood and show you up under the hood now this car only has now there is no way to guarantee everything when you're dealing with a car that has a five digit odometer um, but this car 99% we believe is original 55,000 original miles um, and there's a lot of paperwork that kind of backs that up. Before I forget about it, the door trays are taken and broken on both of them. They Are they cracked or anything? Oh wow, he says they're not cracked or anything. I messed up there. So he has them and I would do the same thing and take them off to where you didn't have a problem. But as you can see, there's a couple mileage things on there. And the dates and the way it goes in between and the mileage, it shows that it's got the right miles on it um, look at this and you start looking at the motor and the way the injectors and everything look on it um, now I know I think my buddy said he replaced the glow plugs on it um, and it, if you head bolt heater it it'll still start at 30 below man it just goes but like any diesel it gets a little chillier and um, it sometimes can take a couple cranks this one here needs to be tightened up a little just a teeny bit leak there on that injector um, teeny, like I say, it's not even touching the block really, but just want to battery. show anything. Brand new battery got in it, and I sold my first one of these. I didn't know what I had and stuff, and it was perfect. It was about 40,000 original miles, and I got that thing. I could not start it to save my life, man. I sold that thing on eBay for so cheap, like five, six hundred bucks. Guy came up from Salt Lake City, put a real battery in it, started it up, and drove home. Oh God, I felt awful. I could have got six, seven, eight, nine grand. This is 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Well, beautiful car. That's the motor. Now the hood liner. Hood liner's all gone. Just like most of them are this year. Um, but the metal and everything's in great shape. You can see from the seams and all, just great shape. Um, oh, he's got the original air cleaner and everything for it in case you want to get rid of this. Um, some people would say funky newer thing because it is aftermarket. Uh, probably adds a little bit of airflow, so very functional, but it just don't look as cool as having the factory stuff on it. But me, I'd be happy knowing I have the factory stuff at home in my garage, and I had the extra three or four horsepower that extra eight airflow gave me. Because I guarantee you, you do get a couple more horsepower in this with that. Look at that. We ain't talking about titties on the side. We're talking about this thing's got a whole layer of rubber on the side, man. Cool stuff. Brand new. Brand new tires. And I'm going to show you the inside and kind of get on with that. I showed you the door panel in great shape, but the tray is at home. Um, carpets, just hardly anywhere. Um, this guy was a, a medicinal something user or tobaccoed it and maybe dropped a cherry a couple times. But the car has absolutely no smell of smoke or anything like that. Um, I don't know if he rode with his head out the window or just only smoked in here five, six times and dropped it those times. But that's what we've got on the floor, and I want to mention it. But I also want to say, he must have done it in 73, because you can't tell. Um, the lens is gone off of the light. Very common for them to break. And all your gauges and everything work. There's your mileage to where you can look at it. Aftermarket deck put in. Live wire! And that's why we're here, too. If you're around Pocatello or in Idaho, well, I ran out of card. That's all there is to it. So you get a different little look at this little town. Nice, beautiful, brand new field and campus of ISU. 
Do they call it ISU? Yeah. And back to our interior review, just like that. Sorry about that. Seats are awesome. Just awesome. I've told you about the door panels. I've told you about the miles. We've got that little piece of mat in there I was telling you about. That kind of just makes it to where you ain't going to mess up the carpet. Uh, look at this. No wear, man, on the kick panel. None. Um, these, these haven't even been cleaned. Um, and there's just no wear. None. Um, I'm going to show you the back seat here. Now, these seats are a tiny bit crunchy on the horse hair. Not everywhere, just in little spots. Also, this piece here needs to be bolted in efficiently to be put back there exactly like it should be. And I don't want to mess with it right this second, um, so I'm going to leave it. Underneath here, look at this. Like new almost, man. I mean, look at that. Nice. These are aftermarket, but they're nice for the sound. Along the back here, just like all these do, it's unrolled. And I would not do a dang thing to that headliner. I'd leave it just like it is and let that stay the way it is. Um, but some people pin it and stuff like that. Look at this, the way and the tightness of this. This car is nice and I totally believe the miles on it. Ought to be interesting to see what happened here because we set this stuff into the trunk and then drove all over town. And it slid all over the place. So I'm gonna kind of just take a second to kind of whip it back in shape here. That's what she said. And do it to it. Now you've even got the parts catalog, man. This is cool stuff. Every little piece on this car. Which I'll tell you what, I've had to take like parts out and this is really nice to have it nut by nut by bolt. Um, Ken's got it in a car show here. Um, actually had the paint mix for any kind of scratches. I showed you in another video. Receipts, receipts. And this is kind of cool. The new car pre-delivery inspection from 518. It looks like almost 13, but it's not. It's 73, buddy. And it shows you all the options and everything. Everything. They checked everything on this thing. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, that was for like the 6'9 all bit and everything, the air suspension. Um, so that's that. I'll kind of throw the... Oh, this is the original guy's card from way back in the day, man. Cool stuff. And um, now this is really cool too. Got all the owner's manuals. The spine is broken, this one, so you got it kind of falling apart a little bit. Um, a guy should kind of tack that together. We don't take it out much or nothing. It just sits in the glove box. For the FM radio, we're talking option back in the day, man. And not only that, a directory of the dealers. How to work your, I say funky, because I hate using them. I hate using seatbelts. But these are just so cool the way they go together and everything. And got all the instructions with the warning systems. And I can tell you that works, because even when I'm in the passenger seat riding around with Ken, but I got it figured out. If you like just put your foot on the ground and push yourself into it just right, it don't matter. They go off. Okay warranty and manual service thing and yeah, he's pointing at the other one here wanting me to get it because it's the coolest one and yes i did save the best for last old guy had his driving gloves in there technical data passenger car thing here okay here we go i did save the best one for last the maintenance booklet not only is this the maintenance booklet he's got all this stuff in here and it's all filled out hang on now none of the first vouchers but there you go it's 6505 which right is right when I would do that. And he didn't do the 3000 one uh, for the engine oil because he wasn't a sucker. That's all there was to it. He said, I ain't gonna change no oil on no diesel at 3000 a mile, you stinking crooks. Guaranteed, that's what I'd say. A couple of them aren't filled out like that, but he changed his oils and got all his stuff done. Gunther Bleeth Automobile LTD. They were done at Mercedes, a lot of them. Um, non scheduled maintenance. And it's filled out to 34, and there's only a couple more in between here that weren't. And then, this is the last one, I believe. And this is where Ken filled it in on his, and he did both services. And new battery, new alternator, glow plugs, he put all that stuff in it. Um, and that's the deal. So most of this book is filled out and everything. Um, very neat, neat thing 
And that pre-delivery inspection and this are the coolest things on it. Even got your sunscreen thing there. Um, not all rusty or anything anywhere in this trunk. It's just in great shape. Oh, that's right. He told me that. He's got the spare tire and the toolkit for this car. Just not in here. And you can see, look at this. Just nice as can be. Look at little piece of tape right there holding the... Uh, is the bottle back here on this one? I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah. No, it's up front. Is that front on this yeah. one? And that's the deal. Okay. I didn't show you the inside back here. I did show you under the hood. Look at this. Just beautiful. And absolutely hate when it does this to me. So I'm going to block it and show you up close. And that's what I was trying to avoid at the other place. But with the weather, the way the sun's going, it's a little hard to block it all. And but we turned out pretty good here. Just beautiful. Oh, yeah. And little wear right there. You know what? I didn't even wear it. looks like he got something on it. Got a little paint on it or something. Yeah, it's just like nail polish or something. And same thing here on that side pocket, but door panel. I hate to say like new on something like this, but look at that. Look at how straight and nice that door panel line is. Look at how nice this trim is. It's getting frayed up around the corners like it's gonna get. Um, this here is starting to give a little bit like they're gonna do. Um, but this is absolutely beautiful. The seats are comfy. You're getting just a little bit of that dip there from the horsehair going on these two middle ones. Console, live wire, and this dash. Oh God, it's just all messed up. No, actually just that little stinking crack. And a guy could get this one fixed really cheap. Um, or, you know, buy one and put in it. Lost a screw, and it's just recently happened, but gotta get that screw and get this thing, it slips down in there like that to where it's nice and flush. And once that's together, it'll look perfect. That is the deal, man. It's not even warped. This guy took care of this thing, just sat in the garage and just nothing. Doesn't even look like he hardly ever drove it. This is frayed up just a little bit. And that's the deal. I have went across the outside. I have went across the inside. I have told you just anything about this sweet car that I could think of. And I'm just going to walk around it again, think out loud, and think about if there's anything else that I didn't tell you about this beautiful 1973 Mercedes-Benz 220 diesel. And I don't think there is. It's got all three of the flaps. All three of the flaps. Yeah, one of the back ones is missing. Um, kind of got knocked off there by something, and I told you that. You've seen that before. But I just want to tell you everything about it. Um, it will be detailed. Yeah, he's complaining about it not being detailed. And you know, yeah, you could rub it a bit and get a little bit of stuff on this and that. But as you can see, the car is just beautiful. That's all there is to it. Cut myself short, and I hate when I cut a millimeter or inch out of it like that when I do a walk around. But that's the car. That's beautiful. OneOwnerCarGuide.com and StockCampbells.com. And that's the deal. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And check out my website. I've got all kinds of old classic Mercedes. In fact, a couple coupes on there too. We'll talk to you.